Okay, so I said that we are going to use iClicker in class and we are. So I thought I would give you kind of a little video on how to set up iClicker because some of you may not be familiar with it. So there are a couple of different devices that are allowed in class. You can use your smartphone, you can use a computer or a tablet, um, or you can use any of the handheld uh, remotes. But here's the deal. You can only use one in a given class period. So let's say you bought the iClicker, but you remote like looks like, whoa, looks like this from the bookstore, which I highly recommend you do, um, but you forgot it at home. You can still participate by using your phone. Uh, but you can't use them both in the same class period. So maybe on Tuesday, you used your iClicker remote and you left it at home because you unpacked your backpack. Um, and then when you come to class on Thursday, you're like, oh, I don't have my remote. Go ahead and use your phone, no big deal. Um, no matter what you use, you must create an iClicker account. So if you want all of your grades to be counted, and trust me, you do, even if you use a physical remote, you have to create an iClicker account. So you go to iClicker.com and I have that link in the Moodle page. You create an account and you're gonna create a student account or you can download the app. Then you select sign up and you create your account. So here's the deal. If you've used iClicker in another class, you already have an account, just sign in. If you've never used iClicker before, then this is where you're going to create your own iClicker account because you're only going to receive credit from one account and one account only. So when you go and you make your account, you have to tell iClicker about yourself. You have to tell iClicker you are at Nichols State University. So that is your institution that you are out, that you are at. Then you're going to create your um, information about your account. You put in your first name. Your last name, make sure that your first and last name in iClicker match your first and last name in Moodle. Very, very important. Then your university email. So your, um, whatever your letters and numbers are at Nichols, right, that email. And then your student ID is going to be your N number. So make sure you get your N number right. Super important. Then you're going to create and confirm your password and create an account. Now you have an account. Now you need to add my class to your account. So on the main screen, you're going to click the little plus sign and you're going to search for my class. Now, it completely depends what you're searching for if you are in 4T or if you are in 5T. So if you're in 4T, you're going to search for Chem 109 4T Fall 2021. And when you look for it, what should auto populate when you select it is that it says 4T. You should see 4T and 4T meets at noon and it goes to 120 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you are in 5T, make sure you select the 5T option. The 5T option, everything's the same except it says 5T and it meets from 130 to 250. Okay, so please make sure that you know which section you are in. You can find that in Banner, you can find that in Moodle, so you know which um, section you are in. Okay, so if you're using that handheld iClicker remote and you've already had one from another class, you don't have to pay for the iClicker app subscription. You just ignore it whenever they say like, hey, come buy this, right? But if this semester, you went to the bookstore and you purchased a new iClicker remote. You get five years of digital access once you register your remote. So how do you do that? Well, once you have an iClicker account, you register your remote with the eight digit remote code. So the first time you sign into iClicker, you'll be prompted, would you like to register a remote? And then you click register a remote. <coughs> if you forget to do it, it's okay. You can um, go to your profile section and you can add it at any time. And your remote code should be on the back of that handheld device. Okay, so when you first create your iClicker account, you will automatically get a two week free trial period, but this will not get you through all of class. So before that trial period ends, you need to purchase a subscription or redeem your access code in the subscription section of your iClicker account. So make sure that when you buy your iClicker from uh, the bookstore that you use the code, 
that's given to you, right? So if you have questions on that, you have to contact the bookstore and they will help you out. That is not something that I can help you with. You would have to call the bookstore. Okay, so I'm gonna run attendance. I'm gonna run polling. I'm gonna run quizzing session, sessions in class. So whenever you um, do join and we have something going on, you're going to click join, right? I'm gonna walk into the class and I'm gonna start class on your device, if you're not using the handheld, when if you're on your phone or your laptop or whatever it is, you click join. And that tells me that you're participating for the day. If you're using a handheld remote clicker, I think the frequency in the classroom is uh, AA. And we can check that on the first day to make sure. So once you log into your iClicker account, you're going to be able to see the statistics for not only your score, but also your attendance. And so this is really nice that you can go in and you can check your score at any point and you'll know how that goes into Moodle if you go ahead and read the syllabus. Okay, if you have questions or you have trouble registering, I can't help you, but iClicker can. So iClicker.com slash support and they will help you or the bookstore. Good luck, I hope this helps.